So if you've been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, you've been probably wondering where all the unknown are. Well, I'm going to show you in this video. A lot of people probably don't know about the reward that you get at the end of this really, really cool side quest. And of course, finding them is really cool as well. You'll be able to see them in really interesting and creative places, and they blend in very well. However, they're also still quite difficult to find. So I'm gonna show you guys every area by area location for all the unknown, and I'm gonna show you what the reward is at the end as well. Starting in Jubilife, if you go out to the balcony on top of the gal galaxy building, you'll be able to find an unknown right on the eye of the Magikarp statue. Next up is outside the entrance from Prelude Beach, you'll be able to find one on the sign. Next up is in Jubilife Still and right behind your own house. So go on around there and you'll be able to see it hanging up with the clothes. Let's move on to Obsidian Fieldlands. To Lake Verity, you'll be able to find one right beside the entrance of the rock here. And there it is. Next up is over to the Grand Tree Arena where you fought the first boss. You'll be able to find one right on the tree. Next up is Grueling Grove. Grave. There's one right on the tree right there. Let's go up to Obsidian Falls and right at the very top where the waterfall is coming out of, you'll be able to find one on the rocks. Next up is where you would find the Alpha Bidoof. There's one right on his dam. All right, moving on to Crimson Mirelands. The first one is going to be on the campsite where you first encounter the bandits, and there it is. Moving over to the Diamond Settlement, you'll be able to find one on the back of a tent. Next up is the Shrouded Ruins. You'll be able to find these weird stacks of rock formations here. And in one of them, or on one of them, you'll be able to find one of the unknown right there, near the two trees. Next up is Ursa, Ursa's Ring. And if you go into the ring, you'll be able to find one on the log. Going into the Scarlet Bog, this one was a little tricky to find. There's one hanging off one of the two trees in the middle of the water. Next area, Cobalt Coastlands. Going up to the volcano and near the Alpha Ninetales, you'll be able to look up onto the volcano and be able to see one. You will need uh, Feather Balls or any of those lines to get this because Normal Balls will not be able to get it. Next up, guys, is where you met the Growlithe Grave and did some of the story. If you go off the cliff a little bit, you'll be able to see one hanging off the cliff right behind the grave. Next up is on to the pincer horns in the sea, and you'll be able to see one right on the side of one right there. Next up is Spring Path. Again, if you go to the entrance and turn left, you'll see one on the tree. Next up is Deadwood Haunt. You can fly onto one of the ships and you'll be able to see an unknown hanging on the mast. All right, Coronet Highlands time. Go to Fable Spring where all the Clefairies have happened to hang out. There's one right in the flowers right there. Next up is the Ancient Quarry. If you go to the top where the Gudra, the Alpha Gudra is, you'll be able to find one on the rock formation, the only rock formation sticking out. Mm -hmm. 
Next up is the cave that you had to go through for the story. Go in from the entrance, follow my lead, and go all the way around until you find this entrance right here, which you may have to break open a rock. I forget on that one, but either way, you'll be able to find the unknown hanging off the wall. Next up is Sacred Plaza. If you're going from the camp, you can keep going and you'll be able to jump onto some of these uh, ruins and you'll be able to find an unknown on top of one of the ruins. You may need feather balls for this. Next up, Ancient Quarry. And this time we're underneath, we're in the inside of the Ancient Quarry and you'll be able to see an unknown hanging off a wall, which is kind of hidden by two rocks that are sticking out of it. So just drop onto wherever you may feel comfortable to be able to see it and throw possibly feather balls to get this as well. Next up, Alabaster Icelands. The first one is gonna be over the hot springs and you'll be able to see it once again hanging off a tree. Next up is over the Heart's Crag. If you go to the very, very top, you'll see one right behind the formation at the top of the waterfall. Next up is the Avalog's Legacy. Go to the very, very top, and you'll be able to go looking at the side parts sticking up as well, and you'll see one just on top of one of the side parts. Next up is Icebound Falls. If you go to the Icebound Falls area, just fly or whatever, you'll find a piece of ice sticking off the top of the waterfall. Not the very, very top, but you'll find an unknown on top of one of the ice shelves sticking out. And last one, guys, Avalanche Slopes. Go down into one of the caverns where you'll be able to find an Alpha Frost Lass. This spawns here pretty regularly. So if you go looking at the Ice Pillar formations in there, you'll be able to find the last unknown sticking at the top. Be careful. And that's it guys, once you do that, you'll be able to come back to the Crimson Mirelands right here and you'll have unlocked something very, very special. Something that you wouldn't have accessed to, wouldn't have had any access to before. Now, as you guys know, the unknown that you were just hunting were all shiny locked, okay? Uh, you may or may not know that, but they were all shiny locked. All the unknown we just showed you were shiny locked. But once you're finished catching them all guys, you will have a brand new fresh spawn of unknown appearing in this cave right here, the Salacian Ruins, which you came to during the story, and they'll all just appear like this, and these can be shiny. These are natural wild spawns. These are not static. These can change, and these can be shiny. So this is your way to shiny hunt unknown. Wonderful. All right, guys, that is the guide for how to get all the unknown and what happens after you do. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys around in the next video. Don't drop the, don't forget to drop a sub as well. Of course, it's really important for you guys to keep on top of all the latest news and information as well as glitches, guides, and all that stuff. I'll see you guys around in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye!